let's see more details about the guides. So we know how to draw the guides and we see that each guide that we draw it has uh, some icons, some elements and uh, let's let's explore a little bit which elements we have here. And in order to see all the elements I'm just gonna create um, let me just clean up this. Just gonna create the control zero one. It's another type of uh, component. It's just a simple component position. And then I'm just gonna create the one of the chains. So I'm just gonna create, um, for instance, a simple chain. So this has um, this uh, little pop up here that it it presets the the creation of the the chain. So in this case, I want uh, three sections. Direction, it's the world, uh, world axis, so it's going to be in X. And how will be uh, separated each of these uh, parts in one unit. So I'm just going to create, OK, so we have this. And we'd say three, so it's three spans, not three elements. Or you can think the root plus three elements, if you, if you wish. OK, cool. So we have these three sample components here. That is all we need to explore a little bit what we have on the guides. So I'm just going to be centering on the visual part for the moment. So the first thing that we have is the red box with these uh, kind of lines here. Let me, maybe if I remove the grid, it's going to be easier. So we have this. This is the root. And the root contains uh, information for uh, the configuration of the components. So we have all these settings that have the counterpart on custom attributes on this root. So this is the way that it stores on the scene um, the this this configuration. So when you open Maya next time or uh, next day, you will have all your settings there. Then we have uh, these um, locators that are the um, let's say the important positions to define this uh, guide or this component. In this case, this is an arm. So you can see this is like the arm base. Then this will be the elbow. And you can see here the name is elbow. This is going to be the wrist. And this is the effector that is going to define the length of your hand. So this is the one that you use to place your, your hand. So that's the two main elements, so roots and uh, locators. Then we have a third element that is called blade. It's this triangle here. And the blade, you cannot move it. You can see it's oriented by uh, moving the next uh, component, or uh, sorry, the next locator. And um, it has a special channel here, blade roll offset, that we can roll it like this. And this helps us to set the orientation of the components. And this is important. This is uh, something that we need to remember. So the guides, I will say like, um, yeah, 99% of the time, or it's going to be working only by position. So it means I place this. It doesn't. It's not m important how I rotate my root or how I rotate my locators. What is important is how I place it. So means if this is an arm and I have this uh, plane defined by three elements. So in this case, I'm just going to make a quick paint here again. So we have, let me choose another color, like blue. OK, so we have this position this position and this one here so this maybe it's super small but let's say i'm just going to exaggerate it here so this is going to create a triangle so this triangle it's going to define the plane of the arm and it's the same for the legs so when we define the plane like this it's very easy to calculate that okay so the elbow is going to articulate in this direction backwards so we will have probably and a vector control here, so it's easy because we have this triangle, so we can calculate all the um, like the uh, vectors that define uh, transformation by using uh, cross product multiplication. So that's maybe behind the curtains, but the important thing is like we need to keep this plane 
under control. It's gonna, if we maybe put, let's say this is from the side view. So we put this lower, so it's gonna point low. If we put this up, it's gonna, it's gonna point up your, your elbow. So you don't want that. And this one here is gonna use uh, this orientation, but it's gonna add his uh, direction to this position. So this is how it works the um, the position. So basically, you don't need to think too much how it's oriented, and also the scaling. It doesn't take it in account. You you only care about your positions. Then we have this uh, blade. So why I have a blade if I can calculate the orientation here? Well. In some situations, when I have this kind of chain, maybe the plane is not that clear because we have four points or can have any number of points. So I don't, I cannot rely always on the three basic uh, or three first uh, positions. So my root and the next two, um, like locators. Imagine that I have a chain that has only one. So I can create another chain. Let me. Oops, just double click. It's hard with my Wacom, you see. So I'm just going to create one uh, chain with this situation. That is the minimum that you can create a chain. Well, here it's going to be super hard to define this plane because we, we don't have enough elements. So we have this one to help us to define this orientation. And let me let me build this quickly. So I just select the root and I'm just going to build using a hotkey. Um, if you want to build without hotkey, you can use um, this um, build from selection here. And if you have a root selected, it's going to build only f this, this element. So you, I, I don't build all the guide. So here you see this, this little box here. Um, let me show you the local orientation. So you can see that this it's aligned with this element. If I move this and I rotate it or roll it and I build again, I'm just going to use the, the button this time. So you can see the orientation now is changed. So we had the first one was there, the second one is there. So this is how you control the orientation for the chains. Of course, if the chain it has many zigzags, like change it like this, um, in some situations, you, you can get some kind of hard to control orientation. So in that case, you maybe want to evaluate to separate these two, um, I mean, this chain in maybe two sub chains. So you, you have in between um, blades to calculate this orientation. In this case, I'm just going to build again. And you can see here my orientation. Here it, it flip it. You see? So because this guy is going too too far uh, on the zigzag, but normally this is not the case on the chains. Usually, um, you have more uh, soft and like zigzags, but it's something that you may uh, enc um, find if find from time to time. So it's good to remember that. Okay, so we know we have the blades, but what happens when I have this kind of control? And let me clean up a little my scene again. This is getting a bit convoluted. Okay, I'm just gonna keep this open. Just close this and just delete all the rigs that I just built. Okay, so I have this one. So this one, I don't have the blade. I don't have any other uh, locator to set the orientation. But if I check the settings, I have here one that you, you say, wall space orientation align and we will do we will check all uh, later i mean all not all the components sorry but all the elements or uh, the settings that we will use later on the biped example so here uh we have this wall space oriented this is by default so it doesn't matter how i place the orientation i say it's the important thing is the position so if i build this it doesn't matter how i rotate it it's going to be aligned with the wall space so that's cool, but what if I want a different orientation? Well, I just need to uncheck this. But as soon as I uncheck the latest, um, before that was not visible, but now we have what we call the reference axis. So it's this little axis here that is 
on the curve of the um, this uh, root, it will give you some insight how it's going to be oriented. This one. So now I can see my orientation, and when I build, when I build this from selection, the orientation is going to match with my uh, with my root orientation. So that's very important. We use this quite a lot. Okay, so that's it. So this is the way that uh, the guides work. So you work by position and you have a few options to control the orientation. Okay, cool. So let's move forward to the components.